Well, imagine having the life of your dreams and losing it all in one night. A Mequon man has gone from millionaire to convicted felon, and now he wants to share an important message with kids. Every decision I made for the first 30 years of my life basically revolved around gambling. The super high roller won and lost thousands of dollars at a time. At the end of the day, I was betting two hands of 30,000 every hand. But Adam Resnick wouldn't admit he was a gambling addict until the night he sat down at a casino near Chicago and lost nearly $9 million. This exclusive video from the casino shows him losing and losing again. Only the money he was losing wasn't his. When I gambled, it was the only time I crossed my ethical and you know moral lines that I self-imposed. Ultimately, Resnick was convicted of a check-kiting scheme for $10 million. The scheme caused a bank to collapse and sent Resnick to prison. I was beaten. I was thrown into the hole. It's mentally incarcerating. It's claustrophobic. And knowing that you are restrained um, it, it was almost as bad as being locked in the hole with no windows resnick spent more than two years in prison he channeled his former gambling energy into new endeavors like battling fraud there was a quid pro quo between a, a institutional pharmacy and a nursing home operator he took a hundred million dollar fraud case to the u.s attorney Resnick got a cut of the settlement, nearly six million dollars. Every penny goes to repay the bank he defrauded. I always said, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people that relapses, chooses another addiction, and I'm going to do right by everyone that was wronged. As part of that doing right, Resnick returned to his hometown to talk to kids at Homestead High School about his addiction and his recovery. It keeps you at that high and it gives you a feeling, a euphoric feeling. Every choice they make has a consequence. And to take a deep breath before they make choices that they know could ultimately lead to something negative in their lives. Resnick knows he won't be able to undo the past, but he hopes to use his experiences to help others. He's written a book and is starting a networking website based on giving people second chances. There's no question it, it's a challenge, and I think it will always be a challenge. I mean, no matter how much good I do, I will never be able to get rid of my past. And he swears he'll never be here again. I know it's, it's somewhat of an anomaly in the, in the addiction world um, to not go back there, but I really do see all the damage I caused, and therefore I just, I couldn't stand to do that to my family and people who support me and let them down again. It's just not in the cards, now you're going to so to speak. <laughs> Resnick also speaks to adults about gambling addiction, and if you've got a gambling problem, we have a link to Gamblers Anonymous on our website, todaystmj4.com.